Chrissy Case and Brian Ogle in Applied Animal Behavior, talking about inappropriate dog humping and domestic dogs. The most widely accepted ancestor of the modern domesticated dog is the gray wolf, which took place around human agriculture society development. The fossil record is consistent with anywhere from 12 to 14,000 years ago. Each specific breed of dog was developed to serve a human desired purpose, ranging from various work roles to companionship in multiple different societies. In today's modern society, we still have dogs for the purpose of working, ranging from therapy animals to protective roles. Due to their keen olfactory senses, these working roles include the detection of hazardous materials and assisting in search and rescue. Because of their desire for social interaction and participating in a social network, they easily adapt into human-based societies. An undesirable social behavior commonly noticed in domestic dogs is that of humping. A UK study completed in 2006 found that a common situation that resulted in relinquishment of shelter dogs, including mounting as one of the main reasons. One of the accepted old theories about humping was the relation to dominance theory of social hierarchy in the dog pack, which included humans as well as other species. The behavior can stem from emotional surges of various natures, including anxiety and arousal. Humping really is not a dog problem, but a people problem, as we label it inappropriate. But in the dog's view, it's completely normal. Realizing that humping is normal will help to, uh, not to add to the dog's anxiety or arousal in the situation, which will ultimately lead to an increase of the behavior. In puppy development, this is considered a normal part of play behavior and the ability to recognize and appropriately deal with the situation as they continue to grow and develop. Also understanding what causes this behavior in your own dog by becoming an at-home ethologist by noting what happens before and after the behavior could also help in these situations. It is a common belief that information given by skilled professionals can positively affect the type of bond that the dog establishes with other living beings can make the integration of this animal into our daily lives easier. In conclusion, in conclusion the jury is still out on the underlying motives of humping. However, it is still recognized as a problem for the human counterparts. Continued research and development is still underway to effectively evaluate the behavior and management tools in the situation.